I've got the setup row done and it's time to work row one. And lucky for us, row one is the only row you ever have to work in this pattern. It's like the garter stitch of the brioche world. Every row is the same. But before we start, I wanted to show you what happened, uh, what we achieved by doing the setup row. And that was to get this alternating single stitch, double stitch, single stitch, double stitch going across. And this is the brioche part. Uh, you'll have just a, a stitch all on its own, and then you'll have the double stitch or the twin stitch or the wrap stitch, however you want to think about it. But this is the stitch that you slipped, and the yarn over is crossing over the top of it, and they're in the same place on the needle. And it counts as one. This is not... Um, this is a, is a stitch, and then these two together are a stitch. They are not two, they're not worked separately, they're worked together. And then there's another single stitch, and a double stitch, and a single stitch, and a double stitch, and it goes that way all the way across. And that's, the, uh, that's what you want for brioche. So let's see how to, to work this to create brioche. It starts out the same as the setup row. You've got your yarn in front and you are going to slip this first stitch as if to purl. This is the stitch that's all by itself. It gets slipped. The yarn goes over the top of the right hand needle and then it's time to brioche knit and all that means is to knit this stitch which is on the needle together with its wrap. Just knit them together. Yarn to the front. Slip the single stitch take the yarn over the right hand needle and brioche knit or knit these two together. Yarn to the front, slip, yarn over the needle and brioche knit. Now if you were holding the yarn in your right hand, here's what it would look like. Yarn to the front, slip as if to purl, Leave the yarn where it is and brioche knit these next two together. Yarn to the front, slip, leave the yarn where it is and use it to brioche knit the next two together. Yarn to the front, slip, and this one uh, looks a little strange and it's just because it's the first one on top of the provisional cast on and it's pulling itself right around the needle. So if this is happening to you, what you want to do is before you brioche knit those two together, pull down on the provisional cast on, there we go, to get it to look more normal so that you're um, seeing just these two strands of uh, the main yarn and then get in there to knit them together. Your needle will go in between the main yarn, which will be on top, and right underneath your needle will be the provisional cast on. And then just knit those two together. And now that you're past that, things will uh, be much more regular uh, as you go across because you're far enough away from the provisional cast on. 